yeah, I kind of went back to the first place where I learned how to network, which was when I was a waitress uh, at in Lakeland, Florida, my hometown. Uh, I was a waitress at Bonefish Grill and Carabas, and back then networking was used for a means to an end, right? Like I had an hour to get people in and out of my table. I need to make money and a really good tip, and they're only going to give me a good tip if they like me. <laughs> <laughs> but that's where I learned the skill, and bartending and waitressing, I think, is some of the best ways to just practice uh, just how to have everyday conversations and moments yeah. when they're not natural. So... Well, you, you, know, you know, I mean, but you bring up a very, a very great point that I want to key in on. You said you were networking uh, or the means to an end and, you know, you want to get a tip, um, but you, the best, the best tip you get is because they like you. Mm -hmm. But isn't that true in like almost every circumstance is that yeah. if people like us, they're more likely to help us or give us what we're asking for. So true. So true. I think back then it was monetary for me, right? Mm -hmm. Like I, I needed more disposable income to do whatever I wanted to do in college. Um, but now it's, it's interesting, like the networking, we'll say what I'm, what I'm capitalizing on or monetizing through my relationships and my network is like gaining perspective, like getting a deeper sense of mm -hmm. what drives people every single day. And through yeah. that, I start to maybe have a little self-reflection and hone in on why I act a certain way or respond yeah. a certain way or my behaviors. And so now networking is different. It's, it's, well, I have selfish reasons, which I can definitely get into, but it shifted from like a monetary value mm -hmm. to like a purposeful value that I wanted to make be the driving force of me every single day.